And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 uh, side quests today. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the support button. It's been a while. Been dealing with some real life stuff. Been dealing with some virtual life stuff. Uh, I do plan to do a second gameplay through this just to see if anything's different. I know there's different like, endings, supposedly, for Dying Light 2 here. Uh, right now, we're playing on normal difficulty. I'm thinking. Round 2 will be on the easy difficulty, just to see if anything changes. Uh, I think this route that we're going right now with the storyline is kind of like... It's kind of doing both. So, I'm not really sure what kind of ending we're going to get. I think on gameplay 2, when I play in easy mode, I'm thinking we're going to do everything to PKs for a storyline. And then I think if I do a walkthrough or a gameplay through on uh, number three or like around three i think i'll probably go with everything the bizarre ones and then you know maybe if i really feel like playing it again maybe round four we'll have to see maybe i'll do everything the renegades want to do i don't know i'll have to play around with it see what works if it's worth doing if it's not you know that type of thing anyways hope everyone enjoys the gameplay here make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the support button let's get into playing some dying light 2 you know that. Remember all the star? I got the guy. I gotta feel sorry for him. You better take him off my hands quickly, because he's What are you doing? A few days ago, I thought I saw a bird of prey in the sky. It was bigger than a kestrel. More like a sparrow hawk. It's been bothering me. After all, nothing lives here. At least nothing should. So many chemicals here can't even find rats. That's true. So I dug up my old bird call tapes, and I'm trying to lure it back. And how's that going? <sighs> Poorly. Either I hallucinated, or it's playing hard to get. Maybe you're not speaking its language. I am, I am! Sparrow hogs are hardwired to respond to the call of another male encroaching on his territory. What are you gonna do? I could try one more trick, but I can't do it alone. I'd like to play the calls from a very high place, without anyone around, even myself. <laughs> Do you have any particular very high place in mind? The radio tower. This may sound crazy, but if you could do this, it might draw him out and I could observe from here with my binoculars. Makes sense. You think so? Can you help me with this? I can't promise anything. Of course, but if you do decide to help, take this tape recorder. It will definitely come in handy. By the way, I'm Adrian. I'm Aiden. I'll get in touch.
I'm looking for the guild master. Driscoll, I was told. Well, that'd be me. And who are you? It's not often I see an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, I gather. No? And I'm looking for work. Sorry, pal, but this is a special organization. You can't just waltz in off the street and get a job here. I'm not waltzing. I don't even dance. You think a smart mouth like that's gonna help you get work? Sorry, I'm just new. To everything. I just need to get to know the city, and from what I heard, this seemed to be the best way to do it. And to make an honest wage. And I was a pilgrim, if that helps. A pilgrim, you see? I've heard about your kind. It's hardly a recommendation. <sighs> Look, you said you were a special group. What's so special about the Carrier's Guild? We work for the people, not just for cash on the barrel head. Carriers deliver packages and letters all over the city. I did a lot of that as a pilgrim. It's a valuable service. It's priceless. And not just because of the fees we collect, you merc. Packages and letters are information. Information is the lifeblood of a society. It's also the connective tissue. Brings people together. And it can tear them apart. Yeah, I definitely get that. Yeah, like hell you do. Pilgrims are just pure play. You don't have any higher purpose. But carriers. The carriers are the trusted stewards of this system of information and connection. In our way, we safeguard society, protect and defend information. We keep people connected to one another. I see what you mean. It sounds like a huge responsibility. Damn right it is. Which is why not every Tom, Dick, Harry, or shady pilgrim is cut out to be a carrier. Please. I just want to help. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can just bugger off. Have yourself a wonderful day. Hey, are you sure you don't need me? Looks like you're running low on carriers. Aye. Things have gotten more dangerous than usual lately. Maybe I'm trying to do you a favor by not bringing you in at this particular juncture. I'm a pilgrim. I know danger. Outside the walls, danger. Oh, do you now? I tell you what. How about I give you a little test, and we see how that goes? Works for me. Test away. Okay, hotshot. Let's see what you're made of. First, you need to make your way to the top of a building nearby and bring back a package that was left by one of ours. Should be lying somewhere by a tent. Is that all? <laughs> Don't go anywhere.
got it. That was easy. That was quick. Not bad. That was a test. I barely broke a sweat. Hey, don't get cocky, hotshot. That was just a primer. As you'd guess, delivering messages will take you through areas swarming with infected. And sometimes, at night. For this test, you'll need to pick up five letters that were dropped in a dark zone when the previous carrier was being chased by the infected. You'll need real skills just to survive, let alone succeed. Piece of cake for a pilgrim, though, right? <laughs> yep. This sounds more my speed. I see you soon. Hey, has someone hurt you? My son. I gave my whole life to him, and in my golden years, how does he repay me? By making life hell. In my own home. I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. Where will you go? Oh, I heard about an abandoned container nearby. It used to belong to the peacekeepers, but now it's empty. Well, it was empty. When I went to see it, infected were all over the place. Well, let's say I get rid of the infected for you. But you do that. I'll pay you. Sure thing. But where can I find you afterwards? I'll go to the canteen. But any place is better than my hellhole of a home and my demon son. How can a son do this to his mother? I'm at the mercy of strangers. <clears throat> Not bad, hot shot. Not bad. 
That hardly qualified as a test. Ha! This last one, mate. You come face to face with customers. This is what the job is about. Connecting people through the letters they send and receive. Reconnecting our fractured society, so to speak. This is where you prove your true worth. I can handle it. Believe it or not, I'm sort of a people person. <laughs> oh, you could have fooled me. But I have to admit you're not a fragile type. I'm starting to see some potential. Pull this off, and I might consider letting you take the carrier's oath after all. I just better not get any complaints from the clients. You won't. I promise. Carrier here. Here's a message. Thank you. Oh, well, it's about time. Um, pardon? It's from my boyfriend. He's finally leaving his wife. Ah, oh, congratulations. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. will sober you up. Baby cakes, you're always welcome here. enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Just when I think I've seen everything, something. Ah! Fighting with the enemy. Oh no, Captain! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This zone is secure by peacekeepers. Hello, I'm from the Carriers Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom, mommy, it's a letter from Dad. Careful! Don't tear the letter when you open it. 
I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. I have a letter for you. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. No concern for his father. I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Hey, Driscoll. Job's done. All packages delivered safely. Well, that's what I want to hear. Come by when you can. I've got something for you. Remember, you can always take the Metro to get here quicker. Hopefully it's not going to be one of those quests where it's a never-ending loop. Uh, yeah, we're doing a side quest. We'll have to see what happens. Good work, Hotshot. What did you think? All sorts of letters and recipients out there. It's the network, like I said. You just helped expand it. Looks like your carrier material after all. Are you ready and willing to take the oath? Uh, really? Uh, pilgrims aren't that formal, uh... Maybe that's part of your problem, Hotshot. If you want this, then you'll repeat after me. Fine. Let's do this. I, initiate of the Carrier's Guild. I, initiate of the Carrier's Guild. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. By the power granted me by the Carrier's Guild, I hereby proclaim you a full member. Initiate rank. Welcome to the fold, Hotshot. Let me know when you're ready to start. I'm ready, Driscoll. Got an assignment for me? Well, I do, but first let me lay some carrier history on you. Okay. I'm a bit of a history buff, like. Did you know that the first documented postal system was in Egypt, around 2400 BC? I did not. Aye. It's how the pharaohs sent out decrees, creating the network. Think of the ancient tradition you're upholding just by delivering a piece of meal. I will. I, I promise. See that you do, Hotshot. Now deliver this message. It's marked urgent. So I'm only sending you out with this one. Now don't get distracted. It'll get where it needs to go. It's a baby carrier. So much for this being an elite group. Pilgrim? Fuck that shit. Now what's your problem? You better not become my problem. For all we know, you could be the next Derek waiting to happen. The next who? 
What the hell are you talking about? Never you mind, baby carrier. Just keep your nose clean around here. And I'll be watching you. Great. Then you can watch me flip you the bird. Oh, great. Baby carrier's a comedian, too. This place is going to shit. Coming from you, I guess I'm just upholding your legacy. That's just Jack. Ignore him, compañero. It doesn't look like he's gonna let me ignore him. Tranquilo. His bark is worse than his, uh... Chew? Is that the word? Me amo Jaime, by the way. Being a carrier is dangerous. We're a small group, and we rely on each other. So, you're a pilgrim. Good. You've seen and done things. Sometimes, los novatos get people killed. Aiden, did this Derek get someone killed? Luckily, no. Derek was just plain loco, an adrenaline junkie. We all take this seriously, but he was obsessed. In a way, you had to admire his dedication, even if he was fanatical. And so what happened? Left the other carriers with tough deliveries in the lurch. What became of him? Booted out on his ass. No room for a Scarface in the Carrier's Guild, amigo. Recipe for death and disaster. Let me guess. Jack led the campaign against Derek. And he was very effective, amigo. I'm sure he was. Just run off like that, Henny. Granny's not as spry as she once was. Henny? I'm not... Aren't you cold, darling? You never knew how to dress appropriately. <laughs> I remember back in preschool how you would put your undies on your head. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think you're mistaking me for somebody. <sighs> it's about time you made it back here, Henny. I'm feeling a bit out of sorts today. 
Why am I even standing here? Aha! Did you get... Do, do you have those, uh, you know... Help me out here, Henny. I'm sorry. I'm Aiden. Aiden. And I really have to get going. Pills. That's it. You were supposed to bring me my pills. Ran out this morning. And my mind's all sort of foggy. I'd like to help, but I... Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Where do you usually keep these pills, ma'am? No matter, Henny. You were supposed to refill my script at the pharmacy. Yeah, pharmacies aren't really open for business these days. God, I've forgotten everything. Ah, I know. This group of nice boys came this morning for coffee. No, it was for tea. And they made me, I mean, I lent them my last bottle. They had such funny masks on their faces. You were robbed by renegades? Ah, yes. That might be what they called themselves. But they were nice boys. All right, don't worry, Grandma. I'll ask those boys to give it back. Where did they go after that? Uh, somewhere over there. To those abandoned apartments behind me, I guess. Darling, don't you boys get up to too much mischief together. I'll be waiting with a hot cup of tea by the windmill south of the VNC Tower. Bland poison for every past day. His very own MO for this infection. One day, some shady guy offered a small fortune to eradicate a problem in muddy grounds. The client made a big deal about be confused, but her memory's just fine for some things. I hope these pills help her.
Carrier's Guild here. I have a message. I wasn't expecting anything. <gasps> oh my. What's wrong? A client of mine is concerned about her unborn child. She's feeling some pain, so I'd better go and check on her. I'm a midwife, you see. Couldn't her husband have come to get you? <gasps> Lord, no. She's in hiding from him. You see, the baby's not his. What he'd do if he found her? You can't tell a soul. You mustn't. I see. The secret's safe with me. Thank you. Now, excuse me. I, I must gather my things. Yeah. <laughs> 
Here you go, ma'am. I mean, Grandma, I got your pills. Took your sweet time, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Had to grab a pint with your mates after work again, is that it? You could have let me know before we got married, the day where your true loves. <laughs> well, here's your tea. See what kind of wife you have? No, no, I'm not your husband, remember? I'm your grandson? Shit, now I'm confused. Take these, please. They should help. That's so sweet you brought them, Aiden. Wait, 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 wait. So, you remember my name? You know who I am? I... Oh, my. Oh, all right. Mm, I might have exaggerated my memory problems a little bit. One can get used to this epidemic, even to the infected. But to loneliness? Never. What's the point of surviving if I have no one to share my life with? And you. Do you have a grandmother still alive? Do you drop by for tea with her? Never had a grandma. Truly? Then you do not even know what you are missing. I know so many stories. Would you like to listen? I... I'd love to. Drop by whenever you feel like it, and I'll be glad to tell you. People bring hurt on themselves when they ask too much from life. Anyways, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you support button. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go do this wind turbine real quick. Hopefully it's not too hard. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.